Example 1, let's graph the, graph the equation of the line and put it in slope-intercept form for 3x minus 4, or plus 4y equals 12. So we are given 3x plus 4y equals 12. To put in slope-intercept form, solve for y, we get 4y equals negative 3x plus 12, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3. The slope-intercept form helps us with graphing because it makes it a lot easier to figure out exactly what this equation looks like on a graph. Okay, so we notice from our vertical intercept that we will start the point 0, 3. We also know from our slope, negative 3 fourths, that we go down 3 and every time we go over 4. So we have another point at 4, 0. We could even graph another point going down three more and over four more to eight, negative three. And there is the equation y equals negative three-fourths x plus three. Quick spot check, we see we go down 3 and over 4, that we do have a negative slope since our graph is sloping downward and we do have our vertical intercept of 0, negative, or zero positive 3. Alright, let's now talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. We already know that parallel lines are lines that never intersect. And the way we would express this graphically is that they have the same slope. For example, if a line has a slope of positive 3, then a line parallel to it must also have a slope of positive 3. So all three of these lines are parallel. Now, if you are given a line and a point not on the line, you should be able to come up with the equation for a parallel line. This is the same as being given the slope and a point that the line passes through. Well, let's look at an example. Given y equals 3x plus 12, we're going to find the line that is parallel to this given line and passes through the point negative 3, 8. Well, for our new line, we know that it has to have the same slope with the given line. So this new line has a slope of positive 3 as well. And it passes to the point negative 3, 8, where that is x and y. You can use either point slope or slope intercept form. I prefer slope intercept form, but we'll look at both. If you use slope intercept form, all you need to do is plug in the values for y, m, and x m and x to solve for b. So we get 8 equals 3 times negative 3 plus b. 8 equals negative 9 plus b. b equals a positive 17. Meaning our li line has an equation of y equals negative, sorry, positive 3, x plus 17. If you use point slope form, We get y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plug in our values, we get y minus 8 equals 3 times x minus 3. And that is the equation of the line.